Today I effed up by having sex with my ex. Last week my ex GF, 20 years old female, called and asked if I, 22 years old male, was keen to continue sleeping with her. I never expected to hear from her again, let alone see her naked. Our relationship recently came to an end. I tapped out because it became clear to me that the two of us were incompatible. My ex disagreed and thought screaming at me would somehow change my opinion. Considering how upset she was during our breakup, I was surprised when I got the call from her asking for sex. She said she had no intention of getting back together. All she wanted was to share a bed with someone who knew her well enough to know what buttons to press to get her off. Not gonna lie, the unexpected ego boost disarmed me. Her closing comment was, Scratch out the friends and friends with benefits, but keep the benefits. I was willing to test it out. Last night my ex and I reunited for the first time since the dramatic final episode of our relationship. She followed me to my room and we hooked up. I woke up this morning with one arm cuffed to my bed. My ex was gone. A random note on the pillow said the key for the handcuffs was in the condom under the pillow. I flipped the pillow and discovered the condom. A used condom, but not the condom I used. Different brand, different size, different load. I did what had to be done to get the key out of the condom and unlock the handcuffs. It was like a fear factor challenge, but all you get is some dude's nut juice on your fingers. Without wasting time, I disposed of the condom, the key, the cuffs and the pillow before tossing all my sheets in the laundry and scrubbing my hands with disinfectant. I was fuming, but I was prepared to file my experience under crazy XGF and never communicate with my ex again. However, I soon realized she did more than plant another person's used condom under my pillow. She planted another person's used condom in one of my running shoes as well. The condom actually stuck to the bottom of my foot when I removed my shoe. It was disgusting. I decided to check everything. Shoes, socks, pockets, bags, etc. I managed to find another used condom in the hood of my hoodie. I informed my roommate because I didn't know if my ex was crazy enough to hide used condoms elsewhere in our flat. He advised me to block and delete her phone number and social media, which is what I did. My roommate and I have been searching for used condoms in every corner of our flat since we got out of bed. I have so many questions. Are all those condoms from the same person? Does that person know my ex was using safe sex for evil? How did I not see this level of crazy during my relationship? I guess I'll never know. Too long didn't read. I allowed my ex GF to convince me to sleep with her, and now I'm discovering used condoms that she planted in my room to demonstrate how much she hates me. That's the end of this story. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see what the commenters have to say. First comment. From now on refer to her as planters, because she likes to party with mixed nuts. Next comment. Get tested for HIV, AIDS and other STDs while you're at it, and be happy she didn't go any further. God damn. Another comment. I can't believe nobody is bringing this up but she planted a stranger's biological fluids without your knowledge or consent. She handcuffed you and placed the key inside the fluids meaning you would have to come into contact with it to get free. That is sexual assault and false imprisonment at a minimum. Tricking you into sex under false pretenses in many jurisdictions can be considered rape. If any of those fluids were from a person with HIV AIDS that is also attempted murder. Why is everybody joking about this? This is incredibly serious and if offenders were reversed we'd all, rightfully so be screaming for Opie's life to be burned down. Call the police. She went this far right out of the gate. I'd be very surprised if she was done with torturing you and you need a paper trail yesterday. Final comment. Can't help but feel this is one for the police. Leaving someone else's used condom in someone else's house, handcuffed against your will and forcing you to place fingers inside the used condoms to retrieve the key. What if that person has an STD or HIV or some other disease? What if you have a small cut on your finger? Stupid things can escalate quickly. I'm not sure about local laws and if this constitutes anything, but even just a knock at the door from an officer, or just document it so if anything else happens in the future, you have some sort of proof. Thank you for listening and watching. 
Please let me know what you think about this in the comments. I would love to read about what you have to say. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day.